Hey, shalom, Roni. Shalom, darling. Shalom, shalom. See these people here? Okay. We're all getting yes. on. We're getting on the bus. I'm going to be in Frankfurt. <laughs> yes. Okay. The Lord willing, I will be with you late yeah. tonight or early tomorrow morning. But I'll let you know. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Love you. Love you too. Bye bye. Yeah. We got here last night. You know, they, they had a very good way of, of bringing us in, asking our names, our passport, where we're going, all that stuff. They had hot soup and sandwich. And then they said, you have a bed. We got cots for you. Well, they had cots for most of us, but, but at any rate, we were safe. And with all of the police last night here and people walking around, we felt like, okay, I can sleep. So we had these cots and we didn't have a pillow, but we had a warm blanket. We slept. Maybe two, three hours, but we slept. On the moment the bomb exploded, we were on the plane not even aware of what was going on inside. The pilot wasn't aware of it. Obviously, the control tower, they didn't know when they, what happened. It took them a while to realize. The moment they said, this is a terrorist attack, it was very, very scary. And the plane was silent. Nobody said a word. It was like, this, this is a bad, bad thing. Come here, come here, come here. I don't feel the fear living in Israel because we have so many police, so many IDF. Everywhere we go, we know that there's security. You, you see it everywhere. You see it everywhere. And that's what brings peace. That's why last night I said to the policeman, thank you, thank you, thank you. When you don't have the security, it's a different situation. Then you get nervous. I want you to know the kind of people that I saw helping us and working together, everyone, they're coming together like we are stronger than those other guys. They're evil, but the rest of us are stronger. Really, there's a sense of we're together and together we can, we can stand up against this darkness.